And then we got my cousin here. Stand up, baby. Amen. Now this is Pastor Dunn's wife. Amen. 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 Did we miss anybody? Everybody's quiet now. Huh? <clears throat> to all of these fine deacons, amen. amen. To these musicians and amen. most of all to Greater New Birth, amen. 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 And to this great church here. Amen. I've been coming here for a lot of years. Amen. Amen. Way before Pastor Taylor ever got here. Amen. And I'm just telling this because it is historical. Amen. I used to come when my uncle used to run revivals out here. Amen. The Reverend C.H. Murphy. All right. All right. And we would come out here, Brother Brown, and Amen. they would have eaten at 11 o'clock. Right. Amen. Amen. And people would stay here until service start at 6 o'clock. Now you can't get them to stay five minutes. All right. All right. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. There is a word today Amen. from the Savior. Amen. Amen. It's coming from the book of Psalms. the 122nd number. Psalms 122 and number one. Somebody help me say one. one. 122 and one. Say man when you're there. Are you all ready? Amen. Will you read it then? Our way when you say unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. That's enough. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the, the Lord. This particular Psalms is one that David wrote. Now mind you, David and Solomon did not write all of the Psalms. Asaph wrote some. There were many more people that wrote some of the Psalms. And the reason why they call it a psalms, amen, it can be set to music. It is a psalm. If I would use for a subject, and I'm not going to be long here with you, I'm going to say to what i got to say and get out of here. Amen. Is that all right, Pastor? Since that this psalm is saying, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I want to preach about a prayer shawl. A prayer shawl and oak grove. A prayer shawl and oak grove. I know y'all looking at me now. I don't know if you know what a shawl is. Women, you all know what it is. Most men don't know. But a prayer shawl was used by Jewish people. 
And that prayer shawl was used as a prayer's closet. The tabernacle was too small for two million people to get into the house of God. Uh -huh. All right. Preach it, preach it. So what they would do, they would stand on the outside, pull the shawl up over their heads, and they would be feeling God from the inside out because they were in there, in their prayer closet, amen. Everybody in here needs a prayer closet. Yes. See, my brothers and my sisters, there are things that's going to happen to you. Uh -huh. Amen? Yeah. Where that man cannot dictate to you what the situation is going to be about. All right. That's right. And you're going to need somebody like God on your side. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Somebody that can handle your problems. Somebody that can take you through whatever you need to go through to get out of your situation. So back then, over in the country, every man, I wish I had somebody to pray with. Every man had a prayer show. Because he needed the law. Uh -huh. Couldn't get to church. Right. But he could pull that prayer shawl over his shoulder and over his head. All right. And talk to the Lord. Yeah. All right, now. right here. Right here at Old Grove. Right. Old Grove has been a beacon for Madison County. All right. I can remember... Coming here, uh -huh. folk would be everywhere when it was revival time. Amen. Amen. Coming off the hills, right. coming up in wagons. Right. Oh yeah, I remember that even then everybody didn't own no car, y'all. Right. But oh, what a time they would have. Right. The preacher started preaching. Amen. Amen. And when he got to preaching, uh, the whole church seemed like it just caught on fire. All right, all right. Because they brought Jesus with them. Amen. All right, all right. Now, when, when the Jews pulled that prayer shawl over their head, they could talk to Jesus. All right. I used to hear people pray when I used to come down here. They would talk to the Lord, amen. Thank the Lord for where they had come from. Thank the Lord for what they had been through. I can hear somebody say, a charge to keep our hat, but a mighty good God to glorify. Ain't God good, y'all? You see, old folk didn't have educations like we had. They didn't know how to. Uh, Talk to the Lord through the word, amen. But guess what? They got their prayer over. Because look at Oak Road right now. Look at the turbulence. Look at all of the things that has happened to Oak Grove. And she's still standing right now. That's a blessing. I, I, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes. You see, when Jesus said to enter into your closet, uh -huh. everybody I said ought to have a closet. Right. I remember back when I was growing up, some of the churches out in the country, All right. they had a bell outside. And when it was time for the gathering, when revival time would come around, All right. they would ring that bell, amen, All right. All right. to let folk know who was working in the fields that 
it was time to come out the field and come home to church. It was time to give God some time. Amen. Now, every Jewish person knows exactly what that prayer cloth means. He knows what that shawl means. And when he pulls it over his head, no matter where he was or where he is, he can always call on the Almighty God. Yes. My brothers and my sisters, we don't need no shawl. Amen. Yes. I thank Jesus that he broke down the barriers between heaven and hell. Amen. Amen. And when he broke them down, he tore down that that garment, that, 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 that curtain that, that was covering over the holies of holies. Right. We don't have to worry about no priests right. uh, praying for us. Amen. You can pray for yourself. Amen. 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 I don't need to call up no priest right. to pray for me. All right. All right. I, can I can fall on my knees right now here at Old Grove and say, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw yourself from me, whither shall I go? Oh, bro, been offering up prayers for over a many, many years. Amen. And a lot of people been saved because of Oh, bro. Now, that prayer cloth, whether you know it or not, that shawl, it represents Israel. Now, the prayer shawl is described in Numbers 15, 37, and 40. It, was a, it had a border of blue. But that also it had a star right in the center. And that was God. So whenever they pulled it up over their head, that star would be looking up. Amen. Amen. Ever since Old Grove been into existence, they've been looking up. Amen. All right. All right. Weather conditions can, 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 can stop you, Old Grove. Amen. Because I know for myself, All right. I know for myself, Brother Brown, I was here, Brother Taylor. All right. I was here working on an air conditioner. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden there come a storm. All right. Lightning began to flash. Uh -huh. I was right in the kitchen uh -huh. looking out of the window. Right. A bolt of lightning hit my truck. Bow! I said, Lord, have mercy. And I was going to run to the truck, but I ran on the inside. All right. All right. Ain't God good? Amen. See, Old Grove was my shelter All right. All right. in a time of a storm. Amen. Yeah. And I know Old Grove has been the shelter for many around in this neighborhood. Yeah. But it sheltered me from, from the storm. Because right. I could have been dead, All right. sleeping in my grave. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. When that lightning struck, uh -huh. it hit my truck, and when it hit my truck, it shook my universal joint. Uh -huh. Y'all don't know what that is, do you? Right. Right. That's that thing that make that 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 that, that drive shaft right. make it works back there on that on that on that on the rear end of that car, yeah. of your car. Right. It hit it. When I got ready to take off, it went going. Cluck, 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 cluck. I said, Lord. I kept on driving. All right. I went on up, made on to the top of the hill. Uh -huh. I said, well, baby, if you're going to you go, you can go right now. I done made it to the top of the hill now. All right. I shouted down on her. She took off. Woo. Right. I said, thank you, Jesus. All right. All right. <laughs> Jesus, the lightning, oh, Saint thought he had me. Amen. He had me when I was down here because he meant to make sure that I didn't get out from down here at Old Grove. Right. But guess what? Somebody had been praying down here at Old Grove. There was still some prayers left down here. Amen. 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 Ain't God good, y'all? I said, ain't he good? 
the prayer cloth, the prayer shawl. Now to the prayer shawl and the resurrection. I heard Brother Brown say that this church here been here for many years. And a lot of folk has been birthed out of this church. All right. All right. Yeah. Amen. Some have gone on probably uh -huh. to be teachers and doctors and lawyers. All right. uh -huh. But when I think about that prayer shawl in the resurrection, when Simon Peter came following, uh, following after John, and John was headed to the tomb of Jesus. Right. Uh, John went into the tomb and he saw the linen clothes lying there and that handkerchief that had been around Jesus' head. It wasn't lying with the linen clothes. No, no. But it was folded together. Yes. All in a place by itself. All right. I heard that this church was resurrected up. All right. All right. All right. Even though the storm came and tore it down. Uh -huh. I wish I had somebody to pray with you. Yeah, come on. Come on. Bless the Lord. But Lord have mercy, you see. What well, God had his hands on Oak Grove. Yeah, yeah. And look at Oak Grove right now. Yeah. It was resurrected. I heard Brother Brown said that they had a slab, some concrete out there. Uh -huh. That was a, a, a reminder of where the old church was. All right. All right. But when he look around in this room, he sees a resurrection of a brand new church. Amen. Amen. Well, it was customary for a Jew to be buried with the prayer shawl wrapped around his head. All right. Peter saw the handkerchief or the prayer shawl folded neatly in the corner of the tomb. All right. All right now. Jesus knew that Peter would think the Romans had stolen Jesus' body. All right. All right. But when he saw that the prayer shawl uh -huh. was neatly folded, it said two things to us uh -huh. right. and to Peter. Whoever folded that cloth, they had to be alive. All right. yeah. All right. Can I get a witness here? Right. And whoever folded this was, he was either Jewish or he knew something about Jewish customs. Right. Yeah. And the only person that possibly could be who it could be was Jesus Christ. All right. Jesus took his own shawl. Right. Oh, I wish I had somebody to pray with me. Took his own shawl and took it off and right. folded it up. Yes. Put it over in the corner and laid it over in a neatly fashioned place. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nobody could have done that but Jesus. Yeah. Because nobody could have rolled the stone away. Yeah. It was a verification beyond any doubt that Jesus was indeed alive and doing well. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe today, uh -huh. if I get somebody to go with me here, right. somebody to just say, Jesus is alive and doing well right now. Yeah. And if you know Jesus is alive and doing well, 
You ought to say yeah. yeah. Somebody ought to shout yeah. 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 I believe Jesus is alive and doing what? Right. Yeah. Well, that ain't all of the story. Right. You see, Oak Grove, Oak Grove started from nothing. Yeah. Now you see, they put down concrete for the floor. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Oh yeah, they took lumber and built the walls of Oak Grove. Yeah. <laughs> then they come on and put a roof on top of Oak Grove. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to see that it's a resurrection process here. Yeah. Right, Ain't God all right? Yeah. I said he, he, they, 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 they put roofing on top yeah. of the roof. Then they put in the windows here yeah, at Old Grove. And then they brought in uh, some pew. And then they brought in some carpentry. Then they brought in uh, some furniture to make it look good. Because it was a resurrection process. And if you tell me... Uh, Oak Grove ain't been through something. Yeah. I tell you, you're telling a lie. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. But God, yeah. I wish I had somebody to pray with me. But God can take nothing and make something out of it. Can he do it, y'all? Ain't God all right? I said, ain't he all right? sick you done had a lot of pain somebody said well uh, I've ever even had death in my family but oh look at you now he still left you here he still got you here he still wants you here
Sometimes music confounds the ear. Come on, y'all, come on. It was surely dreamt 
touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. I, I know the Lord is good. I know the Lord is good. The reason why I know the Lord is good. Is because he blessed me today. Put me back down and see, fellas. We're going to sing this a little of this one and we're getting ready to get out of here. Is that all right, y'all? It's me, oh Lord, standing. Standing in the need. Now, if it's you.
today, we're first giving honor to God who's the end of our life. We want to take this time to thank those who came out and bless the pastor for letting us be able to come here. Bless my pastor for giving us the word for the day. Because we really needed this time because right now, this is the time that we need it. And I just want to thank God for it. Amen. Because it said, train up. You see that? I keep telling y'all, we, we, we just, we're just missing the word. But we get right with God, you know, and you can say, the heck with all these other crazy folks. You know, I guess I should find a better way for saying, the heck with them. I, it, it's Jesus, it's all about. Yeah, they, they don't have the keys, church. Jesus has the keys. And you, and you know what? If you're born again, you only got one key. Don't need that key to get in heaven. Oh yeah. I'm just winding up. You look at all this stuff going on. That's what my mother told me. She said, Lee Junior, if you keep your hand. In the master's hand, everything will be all right. But you know what? It's not my mother. Bye. 